Hi, I'm Leah Louise from Inspired Quilting by Leah Louise. Welcome to my sewing room. I have a wonderful new quilt I'm really excited to share with you. It's a alternating four patch. It's made with charm squares. It has a wonderful pattern. Of course, it's all batiks, my favorite, and I love how it turned out. It's a quick and easy quilt. I can't wait to show you. This bundle of batiks came together so beautifully. I am anxious to get this quilt started. Um, we're dealing with charm squares here, and actually it's mostly charm squares. We have a compilation of uh, different, different blocks. You can see these down the middle. This is the fabric I started with. This is the one that sort of set my vision for this quilt, and I pulled all my colors from this fabric. These are going to be my focal larger squares. These are going to become a four patch block like this. And these four patches are going to alternate between these larger blocks. And this color scheme is dominant throughout everything that I've selected. Now, some of them started out as layer cakes. Some started out, most of them actually, I think, started out as fat quarters. And I even have some jelly rolls. So don't be afraid to mix your pre-cuts. It's about the fabric. It's about getting the best blend to get the most beautiful colors. So these are predominantly my lightest and mid-tones. These are going to be the four patch that will alternate between the larger blocks. These are more dominant, but yet there are some that are a bit subtle. Um, you know, this is a lighter one. This has some lighter in here, as does this one. We we want these colors to stand out, but we don't want each individual color to be so dominant it says, hey, look at me. Instead, you want a quilt that has an overall color scheme that says, hey, am I beautiful or what? So that's what we're going for here, is a nice cohesive color scheme that works together and some areas where we've got the, the background. Again, I'm using low volume, it's just my go-to but using a subtler background, and, and that's kind of to rest your eyes, to take a break, and then you can move on to these bigger, bolder pieces, and it just creates a really dynamic design. So I'm going to show you next how to make the four patch. Let's make some four patch blocks out of these charm squares. As I said, we're going to use the light and the medium, um, light and medium colors. These are going to be paired up together with a light and medium on each one, and we're going to sew them down either side. So five inch and five inch, a quarter inch seam down both sides. And you'll see what we're going to do then is in between where the stitching is, we're going to cut right down the center. Now, if you have a two and a half inch ruler, you don't have to use your grid. You can just line it up. Otherwise, use your grid to make sure that you get it right in the center in order to get your blocks to pair up. Um, to messed up correctly. So here are a number of them that I've done. And you'll see you've got light and you have dark, just like this, okay? Now, you're going to mix them up. Now, I probably wouldn't put these two together. Um, they're a bit similar. These are different, so you can kind of pick and choose. But here's another pair that I did. And on these... I'm going to take these half charm blocks that I've created and I'm going to sew them together, but I want it so that they are in this order. I'm going to put it down so that my lights are opposite and the mediums are opposite. And I'm going to sew down both sides. Notice this is no longer a square. Once you took this quarter inch seam, this five inch block became four and a half inches. So we need to make sure that when we sew these together, we sew it on the opposite side so we get a square. And see how once these are pressed over to the dark side, after we, uh, we cut them, then we give them a nice pressing and we get a great seam that's gonna nest right up. And then we sew those just like this down each side. See that? Right down that quarter inch seam line. And now we're going to cut this apart. And here's our four patch. Now, back in the old days, we used to cut all these little tiny two and a half inch squares, put them all together, and hope that they were going 
to line up in the center. But look at that. Look at how well these go together. You get a beautiful corner um, set right off in the middle there that looks fabulous. And I want to show you real quick, you can do this also with jelly rolls. It's a little bit different. So you take your two and a half inch strips and you need to cut these at five inches. So let's go right here to five inches. And this, for example, we can pair up with this one. So we can put these opposite to opposite. And this is what our block will look like. And then we sew right down here. So like I did in this quilt, I had fat quarters. I had layer cakes. Um, I had charm squares. I had jelly rolls. So I used a little bit of everything. For me, it's about getting the fabrics together that I want to make the best quilt possible. And that's where I am. So I am going to go ahead and make up a bunch of these four patches so we can start assembling the quilts. So the first thing is pair them up, do your two seams, cut them in half like this, cut them down the center, then match that with another color pair and make sure those are opposite. Sew against the seams like this. I'm going to sew here and then we're going to cut right down the middle and look at that beautiful four patch we'll have. And here we go. So go ahead and get started. Get your four patches made. And I'm going to show you how to make this quilt. And here is the beginning of our quilt. The pattern is going to be alternating. So we have solid, four patch, four patch, solid. And we're going to do this all the way down 15 times because our quilt is going to be 15 by 15. And we are going to continue this this way and we're going to have 15 that direction as well. So what you're going to do, let me find the end here, is your next block right here is going to be a solid. You'll put that in and then right here it's going to be a four patch but notice keep those lighter colors going in the same direction you want to there's two things you need to watch for that you alternate that you don't put four patches side by side or solid side by side that's the first thing that creates this the bigger alternating pattern but we're also going for these little white blocks the lightest ones to line up diagonally across the quilt. So as you're piecing, make sure you're watching for those to come together. We're going to do this. Um, I have the first pair together. I'll continue until I have all 15. And then I'll show you how we press that before we sew these rows together. This quilt is turning out so pretty. I love all these colors. There's so much going on. The diagonal here is working really well. So all 15 rows have been chain stitched. I want to show you, once I did the, uh, the chain stitching, I took and ironed one row in that direction and then the next row this way. And by alternating, when it comes time to sew, they're going to nest because they're going in the opposite directions. So that's the next thing. Get, get your uh, chain piecing done, 15 by 15 blocks. And look at this. Here we go with, with uh, this half of the quilt is finished. It's laid out. It's pressed. It looks beautiful. Let's see how this corner over here looks. I love how all these fabrics work together so well. And that white diagonal, I know it's not white, the creamy light color, it nonetheless, it stands out, and I, I think it looks wonderful. So we're just about there. Um, the best advice I can give you at this point before I go and finish is wind up plenty of bobbins. This baby requires a lot of different seams here and there, and I've lost count of how many bobbins I've used. So let me get this finished up, and I'm going to show you the final picture. Well, here is my new beautiful quilt. I just draped it over the ladder out in the backyard for a quick picture. 
and I think it looks really pretty. I love the colors, the way they all work together, and there's some bright and some low contrast, and it just, I think, looks wonderful. Let me show you the next one. Here's a full view, most of it anyways. Uh, it is square. We're only seeing a rectangle here, but you get a feel for the colors and how they lay out. I love how the white diagonal blocks are, are just so prominent in there, despite the fact that they're not as white and bright as you think. So low volume works really well in a situation like this. And I'm glad that everything is batik. I absolutely love how this quilt turned out. I hope you get a chance to make your own one day. It's a fun one. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here.